Hello everyone. In this session, we would learn about box plots and how to plot box plots in R. Box plots are also called box and whisker plots. These are ex extremely efficient way of representing the spread of the data graphically. In this particular example, we see a box plot which has a central rectangle that encompasses 50% of the data. If the data is arranged in ascending order, the first quartile would represent the 25th point of the data or the 25th percentile. The second quartile would represent the 50th point or the median. The third quartile would represent the 75th percentile, respectively. The range or the span of the data between first and the third quartile is also called the interquartile range. You can also see vertical lines, dotted lines, from the central box of the data. This represents the whiskers, which is 1.5 times the interquartile range of the data. What you can also see is a point lying beyond the whiskers, which represents the outliers. Any point lying beyond the one point 5 multiplied by interquartile range limit is called outlier. It is extremely important to visualize outlier in the data and to know the reason why outliers have emerged. It could be either due to experimental errors or due to very novel results. Let us see how box plots can be plotted in R. Let us take a small example where x is a vector with 100 data points, mean 5 and standard deviation 2. We plot a box plot. This is basically the plot that I use for the PowerPoint and so it is extremely clear what it represents as we have already discussed this. Let us take a real example from the planned growth data. This data set summarizes or is about the plan about a planned growth experiment where uh, weight represents the planned biomass and the group represents the control. There are two control groups. There, there's one control group and two treatments in this particular example. Box plots can be extremely powerful in showing uh, the graphic. Uh, the relationship between categorical variables and continuous response variables. Let us try to plot a box plot uh, that describes the spread of the data across different factor levels that is control treatment 1 and treatment 2. We can clearly see treatment 2 has much higher values than treatment 1 or control. So these box plots are extremely useful as a, uh, a priori analysis before carrying out t-test or ANOVA for that matter. The command is extremely simple, box plot, and the first argument is about the vector that you want to plot, or the response variable, and then you have the categorical um, uh, factor that is in, case, in this case group or the treatment and then you name the x lab which is x axis and the color as you choose. Thank you for kindly listening to this particular lecture.